Welcome back, um, part four. All right, sorry about that. I've managed to press the wrong button on my recorder and kill, cut part three short. So um, this is a continuation of part three. Uh, right, where do we leave off? We left off um, with... Uh, I'll just sort out the particles, so I'll just mark them as done. Um, so just to recap, let's do another look. So we just sorted out the speed of the particles. So the next thing we're going to look at is the fire rate. Um, so the <coughs> I've had to, I've did a search. Um, there's a routine called do shot that actually fires off a bullet. So uh, we need to figure out at what point that is called. So what tr what triggers that? Oh, here we go. What's this testing? What's R ten? What is oh time? Now I've got no reference time. So we need to we need to slow that down because time is now running at a hundred hertz rather than twenty five hertz. So all we probably need to do is increase those so <coughs> fifteen um fifteen 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 so that's the bottom four bits let's put that the bits one two three four so we need to do another four seven is that so I need to go to that That's one of them. That's doing the same thing by the looks of it, time three. Shoot if near player. That doesn't appear to do a check on time. Ah, that explains why that second fighter in the first video, um, I, I put noted at the time that it was firing double rate. And I reckon that's a bug. So let's have a look at that last one. So that's testing for every frame where's the other one, that one that was that one so that's every fourth frame <laughs> no, uh, it be fourth? No, every fifteenth frame originally. So now every whatever that is times four. <laughs> um thirty to uh, sixty three. Thirty three times four is thirty three frames. Okay, so what should this one be doing? It should be loading time, shouldn't it? Hang on, let's be all if you drone S one. Where was that other one? Fight fighter tactics <clears throat> well let's leave that for a minute we'll come back to that if I make a note of that so that's fight attack one two shot speed We'll come back to that. Let's concentrate on. Um, oh, well, that's doing a check for time. Which one's that? Part tactic. Yeah, so two does a check on time. One doesn't. Okay, that definitely looks like a bug to me. Right, okay, so where's the player doing the shot? 
Right, so do shot is obviously at drones. Right, okay, well, in that case we might as well sort this out now. So, Fighter Tactic 1 needs to be the same as Fighter Tactic 2. Yeah, it looks like there's just that bit of code has been missed off. Yeah. Okay, so that needs to be... We need to add two more bits on there because we're four times quicker now. And we need to copy that. So. Right, so let's see if that slows down their shots. Got to wait for one to come up. So I slowed it down. I'm not convinced. we ought to do. <coughs> um, do I have his arch installed on here? Yes. Right, I'm gonna just run the original well, my modified version and just see how quick the fire rate is on here. Just if we've got comparisons we know what rate should be firing at. Come and ship it any time today. Right, so it's definitely s slower. Sound like about four or five <coughs> per um per second. Right, so which one is that? Fight tactic one or two, so Right, drone, I'm not sure which ship it is. Um That's shooting anything. I'll tell you what, let's find out which which bit of code is actually calling it first. So let's comment them out one at a time and see when the drone stops shooting. Well, that's not that one. Let's try that one. It's probably got to be this one, unless I've messed up somewhere. Unless it's all, all of them calls for shots. Oh no. Okay, let's comment them all out, just to double check. Somebody else is doing the shooting. Oh, I missed those two out. Oh, there we are. I'll see some problems straight away. So let's pull that code back. This is shoot for near target. So that needs to. That was that. I need two more bits on because we're making it four times slower. Same with this one. Oh, 
aus, ja, das... Better. We've got some damn sound effects aren't working properly. Come on. Have I commented one of those out? Mistake. No, so why are they stopping shooting? Maybe that is the sound. Tell you what, let's put the um, frame sync back in for a start. So we don't need this running at stupid. It's running at thousands of frames per second in the background. Uh, and. We need to figure out now where the player shot is. So that was. Let's make a note of that. Uh, but it's set right. So that's um, alien bullets per second. That we think we've done. Got our money. Check one. They went far enough. That's in close. We should double check my code before I move on. Um, Right, no time, test time with that. Yeah, that's the time's increasing by one there. Interesting, it needs to track it separately. That's doing the same thing there. Oh, hold on, I did put that, um, that bit of code into Fight Tack 1. Let's see if it's that that's affecting it. It was that, wasn't it? Maybe it doesn't need that, maybe it wasn't a bug. Oh, okay, right. So that wasn't a bug. For some reason that must be called separately, I don't know why that is, but it's working. So let's move on. Right, so we're back to our bullets. So it must be something to do with player. Uh, do player, I do recall, was the routine. We're looking for something to do with shots. It's also not called shots. It's got something else. Something to do with these buttons. I guess. So it's a, you have to press the mouse button to fire. <coughs> so somewhere. There we go, bullets. Test R10 with 1. What is R10? Is that time? Where's R10 getting set? Is it here somewhere? Oh no, R10 is buttons. Right, so if the button is pressed, call bullets. Dom two. And then that exits. That doesn't make any sense. Oh here we go, shot sound. So it's this bit it's this bit of code this bit of code here is doing the bullet. So we need to do a test for time. We need to do it every fourth frame. So let's have we got time loaded into anything out of interest? No. So our fire rate is obviously higher than the alien ships. Unless it's clearing that somewhere else up here. 
to slow it down. No, okay, we'll just add in a test. So let's <coughs> load R14 with RZP, it was called time, TST, R14, comma, hash, every fourth frame. Branch if not equal to dot two, so we don't only produce a sound every, uh, only do a shot every fourth frame. Let's see what that does. Let's put up. So that's our shot speed correct. That's one thing I need to look at is when you die, it um. Slows down the frame rate. Let's get rid of these. Don't need them anymore. Right. I'll go look at uh, do scenery. All oh, right. There's two routines. One when the player crashes. So we need to also make that <coughs> do what this is doing. So we need to copy this. And put it into that one. Alright, let's just put it like that. Let's do that. Do matrix. We need to take that one out. That one out. And particles. Oh, it doesn't call set target. Okay, let's comment that one out. Uh, we need to change that because we've got two now. And that's no longer T loop, is it? It's now going to where? Rest. No. Oh no, that's that's waiting on time as well. We need to alter that. PLA one. So that needs to go to. We want to go to. Oh, look, there's a reason it's slowing down because it's already done a frame rate in there. What do we want? We want to go to here, don't we? We want to go to uh, branch if equal to skip. Alter L2. <coughs> Which needs to go here. Right. Time, time 2. Right, so what's time 2 set to? There, yeah, so we need to multiply that up by 4. Because we're now running four frames per update. Right, before I save that, um, I just want to have a look at. I just want to check that routine. So we are on PLA1. Do matrix. Don't need do player. Do active. Do scenery's moved. 
the particles is there there's no set target the rest is the same right that's okay right so hopefully when we die it should carry on running at the fra same frame rate now let's die So much wrong. Right, it's not waiting at all now. Why is it not waiting at all? What have I missed out? I've just noticed there's an optimization we can do there, and that is we don't actually need to store those. So we install last time, we don't need to store delta time. Right, why is that skipping? Oh, because we're not waiting, waiting for a frame sync. Oh, okay, that's a bit annoying. Um, We need to <coughs> we need to loop that Oh I'm being an idiot. We don't need that. We just need to loop around that if time hasn't changed. So we probably want to move that outside that loop. But we do need to move that outside that loop. I better check that other routine actually because that's probably wrong as well. Uh, load last time, da da da. Store the delta time if not equal, that should be. In fact, again, that doesn't need to be inside that loop, does it? So we're basically looping around until time is ticked. Which goes that. Oh no, hang on, that looks back to play one. Where are we down there? BPL play one. Yeah, let's move outside that loop. Let's add a dot PLA one one. And then make that go to there. Right. And what we probably want to do. Oops. Oh no, it's okay. We want to go to a different variable so we don't corrupt it. Is okay, let's test that. Alright, so what we're doing there, we are in the last time we called, we are looping until minus one at time has ticked. And storing the delta time once it has ticked, and storing the last time we were updated. Right, okay, that should work. I need to go back and check the main game loop as well, because that looks like that's probably wrong. Still not all going on with that landscape. I thought I'd fix that. Um, I just want to compare that against what happens in the actual, in the original game when you die, because uh, I'm not. Oh no, it's right. So one, two, so two seconds. What is that date? One, two. It's a bit longer than two. Why is it going longer than two seconds? Uh, oh. Uh, uh, 20. Oh my god, that was running at 50 frames a second before, wasn't it? Because it had a wait in. 
So that probably needs to be times two. That's better. Okay. in that. That's why. In fact, no, that's not the why. Not why I shouldn't be doing that. Okay, d uh, delta time, subs one, brush, all right, okay. Oh no, that's right. What am I doing? Uh, but we need to get rid of that. Because it's now doing it inside that loop. That's the bomb flag. Track lines, right, that's better. Right, that's okay, so uh right, let's go back to the main game loop. Because <coughs> I think I've got this wrong. I need to that's okay, it's gonna T loop, what's T loop? No, that's okay. It loops until time ticks. So we can move those two outside that loop and do something we did before. So that needs to be oops, one, come on, two, and that needs to be outside the loop. Loop that back round on that and then store our two there. Right, hopefully, that's wasteless cycles. Right, okay, right, I think that's okay. Fire at the right right. Paddy's a fire at the right right. right I've got this landscape flipper issue we've still got to sort out. I thought I'd fixed it, obviously I haven't. <coughs> Okay, next problem. Um, so what have we just done? We've just done the bullets. They're done. Right, let's have a look at... Didn't we sort out gravity? Yeah, I think I've done gravity. Player movement. Are we done player movement? Oh, that's the auto player. I saw that auto play movement. It's too quick. Right, let's look at fuel, fuel drain rate. Uh, that's probably got a variable, I think that has a variable up top. Uh, somewhere. Life rate perhaps? What's life rate? Is life right? Is it? Hmm. Yeah, what is life right? What is that doing? It's working out something to do with your score. Oh, it must be it's a multiplier based on. Something. 
R not R not R3, R3, R3 subtracts his score based on No idea. Uh, right, well, we're getting back to what I was originally looking at, which was the fuel drain rate. Um, right, what's this fuel rate here? What's that do? Fuel rate. Right, that's how fast you refuel. So we need to divide that down by 4, because we're now doing 4 more frames per second. That's not your drain though. <coughs> so let's have a look at where fuel is decreased. There. Hit rate. Oh no, that's that's if you're hit. It's not that. You lose fuel if you're hit. Draw fuel. Hmm. Somewhere here. Now check to see if you died. Okay, where's it? Let's see where it's storing fuel. Um, let's do an advanced search for store fuel. STR fuel. Right, it's got to be one of these. Right, so it's not that one. So that's in increasing your fuel level guess since it's comparing against max fuel, yeah that's increasing your fuel. That's when you get shot, it's not that. Ah, do fuel does it. Oh, that should be the same speed then? No, that's now based on frame rate, isn't it? We need to decouple that from the frame rate. Yeah, so that's cool that um, we need a decrease inside that loop, really. Uh, how can we get around that? What if we just move that out? Yeah, so that decreases your fuel if the button is pressed. And mm. we need to base it on time. So if time is Let's do time divided by four, I guess. Oh, it's the best way of doing that. All right, based on time. Um, <coughs> LDR R seven R Z P comma hash time. Um I need to do it every four to slow it down to the original rate. So test R seven comma hash percent one one therefore branch if not equal to skip to P one. Which we'll put after that. Right, so hopefully it shouldn't now decrease. 
Or should we create a call to the right? That's not the question to me, so it's something wrong. What have I done wrong to... So it's open two branch like a uh, Okay, why is that not working? I might in time every frame when I <laughs> Oh no. Oh, what have I done here? Hundred second right yeah, hundred oh, that's It needs to be inside that loop, doesn't it? That's why. Right, we need to de. Okay, we do need to. Was wishing to do it. That is move it. So what we need to do is undo what I did there. Let's get rid of that. Let's comment out. Don't need to do any of this. Right, so we need to decrease the fuel rate inside the main gain loop up here. So it needs to be done inside here. So, the simple solution is just to load it and decrease it, I guess. Did that actually do anything if that went negative? Just reset it and not. Okay, we just copy that. Oh, hang on, it's decreased by R2. What's R2? Eh? Huh? That's a button? What? For some reason it's decreasing your fuel by the <laughs> by which button was pressed. That's rather odd. Okay, we'll have to see what that was. Um, right, we need to do that again. Let's copy that. Uh, so that needs to be, I'm guessing it has to be one. Right, so now decrease your fuel by one every loop of the game update. Well, that's better. Yep, and it's going down by. Does that go down normally when you're not thrusting? Let's go back to the visual game and check. No, it shouldn't go down if I'm not thrusting. Oh, that's why it's doing the check on the button then. That's a way of doing it, I suppose. Right, let's go back to then. Let's do that. Let's copy that exactly. Would be would have been more sensible in the first place, wouldn't it? Load button bit two subs R two. Right, where are we? Um, here. these subs of subs R1, R1, R2 right let's try that that's better next we need to check is that that is actually going down at the right 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 let's simply check that see how far it drops when I go all the way up uh, middle of B Right, so let's run the original. Get with that crash dump. Um, I 
Well, I need a refuel first. Right, it's going down at twice the rate it should do, which is obvious because we're, we're running at twice the frame rate. Um, so we need to divide it down by two. Well, that's, yeah, that's got to be great then. Right, no, it's the mouse button in it, so the mouse button's probably set to two or something daft. Well, that's interesting, because if you press two buttons, that would drop down quicker. Let's find out what that value actually is. Where is button set? Press something to the mouse. There. Where's the buttons? Not there. It's not done there. Mouse. No, not mouse. Buttons. Hash buttons. Why well, is still in that there? Oh no, that's demo mode. STR Hush buttons. That's setting it up. No, that's not doing it. Is that doing it? No, that's clearing it. Let's go with that one then. Start R2 buttons. But R2, da, 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 da. So where's R2 set? R2 set before do player? Oh, is it set up here somewhere? Ah, here we go. Let's go for keys. <laughs> oh, well that's not a good thing, because I'm corrupting that there. And it does do matrix corrupt R2. Oh, no, R1. Yeah, that corrupts it as well. So it must be set after that. What am I missing? Oh, one of those some must be set in it. Fly player or get player. Oh, I was doing that. Oh, it's just whatever comes back from our mouse, I guess. So, let's see what that value is. OS mouse to comma comma eight percent print. 8% FR until not Right, so let's press... Oh, God. That's time. I've done the right one. No. No. Oh, I've done R3. Right. So it's 4. So the value is but the default 4. Right. So that is... Where is he? There. That... It's attracting four. So what we really need to do is test that with four. TST R2 comma hash four. Oops. Button three. Subs. Oh, that's not going to work because of that. Um, Well, that's okay. Well, let's put that back and then shift it down. That's a simple answer. Shift that down. So four, two, well, it should be one. 
I think I tried this though in the first place and it didn't work. Oh no, it does work. Right, let's check that it goes up to the right amount. So it was halfway on the E. No. That's wrong. Where should it be going to? Should be going to top of the E. <clears throat> Where are we going to? Ah, uh, refuel. Right, half half to where it should be. Oh, I didn't remember what thing was the fonts. Well, let's do that by one. Right, so that's fuel sorted out. Got this landscape flickering issue to sort, we'll worry about that later. Right, so fuel fuel drain done. Right, I suppose the next thing to look at is well, let's look at the radar rotation. So at the moment that is running twice the speed it should do. No. Four times the speed it should do. Okay, what's rotating the radar? It's got to be based on time. So let's see what's looking at time. Uh, LDR, LDR hash time. Right, quite a lot. Uh, where do we start? I'll tell you what. Let's have a look at this routine. Where the routines that um alters the rotation. Smart bomb cheats. Not gonna find it like that, am I? Um tactics perhaps somebody with tactics, was it tacked? Yeah, tacked one. No. Most none of those. Uh radar. Ah, what's that? Oh no, that's my list. What's radar sep? What does that do? Oh good god, what is that? Oh, that's probably the area that the radar covers. Yeah, it's not that, although this is radar code. <laughs> right, there's an help us. Back to here. Um, well, where's the radar plot code? Um, there was a plot routine, wasn't there? Dot plot, I think. Yeah, plot shot, plot. So we need to find out what's calling that. Um, with the 
radar retainers, it will probably be in the same place. So it will be no such a BL plot. Right. Right, yeah, it's probably probably part of this. Hmm. Is there a radar um ID? Is an object ID for it? I wonder. Uh where are they? There's somewhere. Down the bottom, somewhere else, or a table of um, objects. Well, let's look for. Radar. What are these? Radar top. Ah, rot type. That was something to do with that. Rotation type. Yes, yeah, so it's obviously rotation type determines whether it's got a rotation or not. Oh, they've all got rotations. But it's possibly one of these. Rotate norm. Something to do with this though, I would guess. Let's see what sets that up. <coughs> One of these. What's that? Anything else not one of these? So what uses that then? Ah, oh, so that stores the radar. in the map I would guess so it's got to be something for referencing one of these yeah definitely do with that rotation type So what's testing that? It's got to be one of these two. Uh, what is this? What's that rotation flag? Oh no, is that right? Something to do with the rotation flag. So it must be checking to see if that rotation flag is set. So it's got to be here somewhere. Okay, well let's try coming out, commenting out some of this code and see if, um, see if it um, stops the rotation. So let's try commenting out. Let's see if it's visible. Maybe it's not that one. Maybe.
Try this. Let's just try exiting that, see what that does. Light it wherever you want. Right, that didn't work too good. because of that. Let's not exit it then. Let's see what that does. Alright, now everything rotates. Well, right, that's it then. So we need to slow that rotation down. We need to slow that rotation down. Right, so it is this routine that's doing it. Uh, it's MW. Last address. What's must one do? Ah, I've answered by twelve. There we go. It's it's here somewhere. We just change the amount that increases by. All right, let's make a note of that. Let's have a look at this routine. See what this is doing. What's this log offset? I'll set the table, I guess. Ah, what does that do? How does it increase those? In fact, we don't want to increase them at all because we want it to be slower. Oh no, that's. Hang on. No, that's. Uh, it's multiplied by 4, so it's not that. So it must be B. So we need to do. Um, that needs to be lower, I guess. Is that right? 31 minus log table rest. Let's see. Let's try shifting that down. So let's see what that does. Not very much. That cream crackered it. So we doing that. <coughs> That's a look type of resolution, right? It ain't. It's not that. Like that. Right, it can't be that. this? Add R6. <coughs> what does that do? Add R3, R3, R6. Let's shift that down. See what that does. <coughs> Oh, 
that. Okay, what if we just call it every other frame? Oh, sorry, every full frame. Let's just see what that does. It's not going to be smooth, but it will slow it down. But now we want to make it smoother, so we want to move it by less. Right, come on, we've got to find that where this is. is here, it's staring me in the face, I just can't see it. Um, that's the, it must be a table then, perhaps, that's storing the vectors. Yeah, right, what's this MW1 table? What does MW1 get set to? 9... There's 9 values in that. And what sets it? There you go, rotation matrix. So... Something here must be you know much is rotated by R0 and R1 as per equivalent. So what's R0 and R1 when this is called? Right, so that is obviously doing the ship rotation, which we do need to slow down at some point. So if we... Well, what is R7 on entry? Set flex and R7 on target. So if we divide those two down... What happens if we divide those two down? Uh, move on up, come up, on out. Well, that's a sentimental difference. What's it done? Oh, that's knackered the demo. <laughs> well, so that's knackered it completely. Not that. Alright, oh, this, this is a bit more promising. Oh, this is your player rotation. Oh, this is the player demo mode. Rotation damping. Did I alter those? Okay, <clears throat> we'll come back to that. Um, what do I get to? That's the bit that generates it, that sets up the matrix. Ah, what's this? Ah, look, time, it's based on time. Um, okay, so we need to do that minus two. See what that does. Not a lot. Let's just see what happens if I don't set those values. Oh, 
Oh, hang on, there's loads of them. Sources, monsters, shoots, etc. So do we need to reduce all these down? Perhaps. Oops, minus two. Ah, oh, that's better. There we go. Right, how's that slowed down our demo? No, so we need to sort out the demo mode speed. Just crashed into something. There's a bug there. Let's see a ship. Oh, let's turn to a mode off. Right, do we need to slow down those ships? Is the next question. Let's start the game again. Oh, those beeps at the wrong speed. Let's have a look at that. What's doing the beep? Beep, 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 beep. Where's the beep? Um, radar, see, what's the rotation I'm done? Right. Is there a beep function? Yes. What calls it? A smart bomb? No. Not that. Um, it's got to be based on time, hasn't it? Go back to the previous routine. Uh, it's not here. Right. Okay. Let's have a look at our sound routines. There's got to be. Some call, some old oh, sound blip, perhaps? No, score. Maybe it's that one. Ah, oh, yes, here we go. Time. Right, so that needs to be... Right, 63 is... 1, 2, 3, 4... That's 31, 63. I need another 2 on there. Right, there's something odd going on with the firing of those ships, and there's something odd going on with the landscape when the ships appear on there. I thought I'd fix that, but obviously not. So let's have a look at that. Um, that is done, I think. I've got a question mark on the play movement, it looks a bit fast to me. Crash velocity, these are issues I've got to look into. Uh, do shot speed, did I fix that? Yeah, no, we fixed that. That was okay. Um, right, back to the main game loop then. Um, there's something to do with this. Um, it was... Oh, do active. I altered it, didn't I? Um, what was I checking? I was checking down here, down time. Only plots it if it's one. So is that potentially getting called more than once? Hmm. 
Well, it's going to come out that being one. Or at least one. Is that doing all the plotting? Is the question. Where are we there? Let's just comment that out and see what happens with the plotting, see if it fixes the issue. No. There's definitely something to do with those ships. Right. What we probably want to do then is do a similar sort of thing on the landscape perhaps. So that is um, do scenery. Right, what's this doing? Checks your height. No, I definitely don't need to call that more than once. Hmm, don't know, okay. What other issues we've got to deal with? Autoplay movement. I'll come back to that issue later. Um, clearly there's something in here not being set up correctly. Uh, I've just got to figure out what... Uh, it's something to do with that, because I bet if I move that there it will be okay Oops. oh it's not okay it's not that then something else oh great Like that. Start again. Right, where was I? I was in there. Uh, do scenery. Right, so put that back. Put that back to there. Um, it's got to be something in here. Uh, one of these. Perhaps it's the fact that the two matrix isn't being reset. Let's try moving that. No, still doing it. Oh, it's not so. Uh, it's not so stupid like um, V-Sync. It's a bit odd that when the ship appears, it um, ah, oh, flipping X sake. Um, it um, it's, it does seem a bit odd, but when the ship appears, it uh, stops plotting things. So maybe a buffer's overrun somewhere. Anyway, I'm going to call it a day there. We've got most of it running at the right frame rate, decoupled from the frames per second. So the hurts of the monitor. Um, so we'll pick it up in another video.